Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Snowkiss, and this is another episode of Urban Empire. And just as I last last left you off, I'm gonna try to convince these parties to prevent the labor unions from forming, or at least legally forming. I, um, at a, with a brief glance at history, I'm um, I'm thinking legislation against labor unions aren't gonna be that effective anyway, at least not without some kind of uh, militant intervention. But let's try anyway. Maybe we can. Um, change how history is gonna look. So first off, we're gonna plead with the National Swirlian. I think that sounds good. They do have some goodwill with us, so... I really wanna fix this issue, you know, guys? Don't you, like, really wanna suppress labor rights? It does feel like... Well, I mean, sure, they would have a better um, work-life balance and maybe get paid a bit more so maybe they can eat every day, but... Do workers really need to eat every day? Feels like once or twice a week or something. Um, or something. Anyway, um, physocrats. Let's threaten them. See. Sure. No, actually, we are conservative. So let's not uh, stigmatize the conservative brand now, shall we? Everyone will consider you fools. Sure, let's try that. Uh... Yeah, we're actually leaning onto the side here. On, it's actually leaning on our side here. So hopefully we might be able to persuade them enough, persuade them enough in time for the vote. Right, as you can see, we've gotten quite a lot of money now, and I think it's time to build another district. Um, oops, something like that. Can I actually zoom out? No, I cannot. The thing is, I want this to perfectly correlate with with this district's angle and I'm, it's a bit unfortunate that it doesn't snap or there isn't a, uh, an option for it to snap because it's gonna look wonky otherwise and that's gonna disturb me quite a bit uh, something like that maybe a bit too low something like that sorry sorry it's the perfectionist in, perfectionist in me. Okay, so let's make this uh, dense then. Let's make this uh, downtown um, Kaiser Javan. Kaiser Javan. Uh, all right. No industry, because we actually have a um, negative demand for that. Uh, we do need business areas. <sighs> okay, so this is annoying because I want the business to be over here. And the residential be over here, so that we, um, so, this, so, so that the school and stuff actually um, brings a benefit to this as well. Because even though you place schools, I might not have said this, and I don't think the tutorial mentioned it either, but you do place stuff district specifically. So if I need, a, if I want these guys to have some kind of benefit, I might as well place it in this district. But then I have to go into this district and place it. So even though it is district specific it does have a universal uh, bonus for everything around it but anyway uh, okay so let's lower residential just a little bit so like this maybe so there's gonna be a whole lot of uh, commercial with a little splatter of um, residential and some residential over here and that's gonna bring the benefit of the residential um, areas from the bonus of this school here so sure that sounds good um, we don't have a police station yet, so sure, let's go with a police station. And that is going to cover essentially all of the residential and commercial areas that we, ho that we have right now. But it isn't going to cover any of the um, this district over here, the Edgeworth district. Which is, sure, that's not great, but um, because especially it's in crime, uh, crime uh, generally propagates in... Uh, industrial areas, but um, I think it's more important to the protect the upper class elitist, you know, the, the honorable kind of people, the, the lower class that can fend for themselves. For themselves. I'm sure um, I am sure I heard that they had some kind of bootstraps to pull themselves up by. So let's propose that everyone is in favor of it, probably because of our favor favorable economy and because of all the commercial districts it's gonna bring. So let's, I suppose we could have done, uh, done it with a Quick and vote, but whatever. A railroad, 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 
A railroad is being built to Kaiserschaffen, and soon there will be trains enabling the fast transport of people and goods. Who knows what kind of changes this might bring? How do you feel about railroads? Um, they are the transportation of the future, not even a conservative can um, disagree with that, but... I have heard that they are dangerous, haven't you? I mean, I, I could swear that um, I heard like my niece or my, my cousin or my cousin's cousin He's a, he's a lord over in the Chelsington, by the way. He um, he was riding around the, along the train and they were going like 50 kilometers per hour. So fast. No horse can ride that fast. And I heard he had a heart attack because of the... I mean, this, those speeds have a really dangerous effect on, um, on the body. On the human body. The human body can really handle it. So um, I'm going to wear this Luda, Ludite trait with pride. Because, you know what, a conservative and careful policy is more important than uh, progressive, um, selfless individualism. I mean, sure, maybe the, the trains are perfectly harmless, but uh, at least we made sure that no one is going to die. Safety doesn't happen by accident. That is my motto. 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 Alright, um... Right, Amanda, because I really want these vocational schools so that we can get some uh, personal growth, so that we can secure our um, technological advancements in the future due to our lackluster performance in that regard. Otherwise, since we are conservative and our guy are quite is quite um, bad in that regard. So yeah, the new district is gonna pass overwhelmingly. No issue, no issue there. Four guys, five guys are for some reason being contrarians and saying no. Hopefully they get ki get kicked out of their parties. Freaking backbenchers. Um, tobacco license. Currently any shop or pub can sell tobacco. Are you okay with this? No. No, um... What's the difference between these two? Oh, right. I was sorry. I misheard it. I, I thought both, say, both said uh, that you need licenses. Well, we need, we do need to be careful. Um, I'm sure the more well-to-do people don't really need a license now, do they? Um, but we need to make sure that the rabble doesn't cause too much of a destruction in their own, their own little piece of land that they have in our city called um, Portopia. Or whatever. I mean, who really cares what they're city districts are called. Congratulations, your wife has born a son and the family doctor told you that he is strong and robust. You have decided to give him the biblical name of Simeon. Alright. How will you bring him up? Respect for traditions, surely. Oh fuck that, being a Filson, he'll be good. That's definitely the more fitting um, decision there. As you can see, we really did have quite a lot of uh, demand for commercial, as you can see as they start to build up right away. Tobacco licensing. Um, it's gonna pass, so uh, let's do it. No reason to deal it alley with the small stuff. Now, I didn't look at the impact of it, but um, I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, so uh, the right to form labor unions. Um, the circus are coming. I mean, they're already in town. They are, most of them are living in Edgeworth, uh, you know, working at factories. The circus is coming to town, and all Kaiser Schaffen is excited about it. How should the city prepare? Add more police patrols to the street? Let restaurants open, open food stalls in the streets? Now, while I wouldn't really have a problem with the, with like the the common folk, the the nice folk, the fine folk walking around, eating from stalls, if they want to do that, they can do that. But I'm a bit afraid about the precedent it's gonna set. Like, what kind of people are gonna expect it from now on? Are, are the, the factory workers gonna expect seeing food streets uh, outside their factories every day? Maybe like truck with exotic food, like tacos. We can have taco trucks outside every factory. Surely. 
and far too relaxed for me. So look, let's um, patrol. Let's patrol the stroll. Surely, hopefully, this will be over soon. Um, can we actually influence them again? Holy! Did you see that? They went from over here to full fucking swing. All right. Um, I guess I'm a better political um, navigator than I thought. A nimble navigator, might, one might say. Eh? Anyway, um, the National Spur Alliance, the NSP. Let's, actually, let, let's give them a uh, um, short nickname. So the, this, these are just going to be called the Democrats. This is the NSP. And this is the physiocrats, I guess. No real reason. What if... Physicists? No, physiocrats is better. Um, hi guys, do you wanna... Come over to dinner? Maybe... Um, play some... Um, what's a very elite sport you can play? Like... Um, I was gonna say Quidditch, but I don't think you're... Um, witches, or... Um, um, I don't think you're like magic or anything. So um, I don't think have I don't think we have Hogwarts in uh, Kaiserschaffen. And uh, no, what what's that game called when you ride around on the horse on the horseback and you need you hit the ball with a club um, on the ground? It's um, God, it's gonna drive me crazy. Um, can we influence them again? We can. So fuck yes. Here we go. Here we freaking go. No labor unions in my Sorelia. That's what I always said. Okay, so there's gonna be an... In what? Okay, so I might have misunderstood the sides of this vote. So, okay, so... All right, so they, the people will will be allowed to form labor unions, which is the exact opposite of what I wanted. But I suppose I wouldn't be conservative unless I fucked up once in a while. A, a Theresa May. Um, sorry. Um, okay, so at least City Hall is going to give us some brain power, which is ac actually what gives us better text. But the, the growth also gives you uh, more brain power. Uh, I think at least, I think I remember it was like that. Uh, so all citizens are going to demand more health, but they're also going to have all he uh, more health. Um, we're, we're going with a surplus there. What? 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 Okay, so we did ban it anyway. I mean, it says that we banned it. Let's... Um... I mean, okay, so it is in an edict as such, so I guess that matter is settled now. I guess, unless someone else has someone else, some some other party or some other guy brings it up again. I guess. So I guess that we we did ban it. Anyway, uh, the cabinet of horrors has opened up in Thornton. It is a museum display museum displaying various oddities and curiosities, such as a wax wax sculpture of the famous murderer Jack the Tickler. Wouldn't Jack the Ripper be living pretty much today. I mean, it was the 1800s in which he was active. Anyway, uh, the museum has gained popularity among the workers living in Thornton. When you hear the museum, you think, how peculiar. I must conceive myself. I mean, we can't really abandon our Luddite past now, can we? We will give. We'll be given a... Okay, so we, we, we got some goodwill from the... All citizen, and uh, we also lost some bonus fun. No fun in Svarelia, uh, especially in Kaiserhafen. Schaffen. You know, Kaiserschaffen, with the well known districts of Thornton, Hackthorn, and Edgeworth. Those very traditionally Austrian names. 
a Free Democratic Party wins the election. And the National Australian Party came second. That's cool. Um, not that the Free Democrats won, but that the National... Wow, okay, that's equal. Everyone has about 20 votes. Hopefully we can boast, boast, boost the um, National Australian Party so that they get some... Um, just enough support so that we might be able to declare independence eventually. Anyway, uh, what I've uh, forgotten to do entirely, I was gonna build a church, wasn't I? So let's build a church here, or actually here. Should... Should... Cover, yeah, because we got a police station, a school, and a church. Should cover all of the, these two districts and should bring us some extra health, with, which will make our population happier. Hopefully, at least. Alright, let's confirm that. And we can rename it if we want to. Uh, let's not do it for now. Although, I suppose we could. What are we called? Filsen. I mean, we did settle um, the town, to be fair, and uh, we were the first mayor of it, so... Holy shit, alright. Um, everyone is fi fine with it. Let's uh, quicken it. Let's go. Alright, cool. Um, I'm probably gonna go with another district soon. We do need more residential, and as we did see here, we didn't get a lot of it in the last um, expansion, so... Yep, sure, let's begin the vote. We're gonna win. Unfortunately, you can't... Not necessarily skip it, but you can't speed up the... Would like it to be like if you double-clicked, then maybe the result was shown instantly. No, no need to sit through the, the whole counting process. Because now it's fine, but in a couple of uh, eras it's gonna be very repetitive and stuff, and I... Yeah, it's not that, that fun to go through. All the time. Anyway, um... Sure, let's go to another district then. Let's go with a... Sure, a default grid. Maybe make this into more of a suburban area than... Um... This looks fine, doesn't it? And it, it does correlate with this little road here. So that, that should be good by itself. Uh, no business, no industry. Pure residential. Do we need something? Um... I can see us building a police station here later on. We don't really need it yet. Sounds good. Everyone's for it. Let's quicken it. As you, as you can see, we do have negative industry, industrial and uh, commercial demand. So uh, this residential area should be good to just balance it out. Yep, and um, most of all, I, I generally want more residential. I generally want residential, um, a negative residential um, demand and anything else, because that doesn't really hurt our economy. Not, not as much anyway. And as you can see, we are now in the negative, but hopefully it's going to go up as soon as people start start to settle in here. And I just want to see this covers. Holy shit, that's loud. The grammar school. Covers pretty much all of um, Edgeworth as well. We've got two Edgeworth now. That's a bit, a bit weird. Yeah, confirm everything else when I rename it. Um, should we assume that? Well, I mean, you you can see in the upper. Sorry, <coughs> hit the mic there again. Uh, in the upper right here, you can see a bit of a bit of a lake or something. So let's call it Sel. Um, Se. Shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google this for a second. Uh, I know this. There's a city in Austria which is called like Selamse. Um, 
which essentially essentially means um, city upon the city upon the um, lake, I think. Salam Z. Don't really have a great uh, Austrian accent, but let's call it uh, New Salam Why can't I propose it? Okay, let's get one square of one square of commercial done, I guess. Um, fucking ridiculous that you can't simply rename it, but sure. Let's go for a normal vote. I don't really see us doing anything else. Whatever. Okay, so uh, the city administration is focusing on, focusing on how the natural rights of men are taken account of in modern cities. Do you wish to pay special attention to criminals or vag vagrants? Let's pay, pay special attention to vagrants. I think that... Hey, we get more money for the lower class. Which I, is always good as long as you don't have to increase the taxes of um, the upper classes. Um, I think focusing on uh, vagrants is a bit more. Um, what's the name of the that German diplomat? Which I. Bismarck. B Bismarck. Um, a famous writer living in Pilsen. Cool. Uh, has become a vocal critic of politics. So you invite him for dinner so you can have a discussion. What do you say? Fuck off. That's what I say. Um, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Right, so what I was thinking was, um, I am gonna vote for this, let's just get it over with, I guess. All parties are for it anyway. Holy sh Christ, I keep forgetting. Um, this is it, this is it for this episode. Um, hope you like the series as much as I do. As you might have noticed, I tend to get a bit engrossed in it due to uh, the subject matter, politics mainly, and history somewhat. Um, so, so I really kind of like to play this. Hopefully you like it as well and uh, it'll give me a reason to keep playing it uh, for both your enjoyment and mine. So leave a like if you agree with me and want to see more of this game. Uh, otherwise leave a dislike if you want me to play something else or something like that. Or if you just want me to disappear. Um, or shut up for once. Yeah, and uh, please subscribe if you want to. Otherwise I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.